last race I'm bringing you here on the all weather but we're up in Newcastle my hometown for the two mile five furlong handicap for horses rated up to a hundred so a long way to go here on the dirt at Newcastle and we've got Everlast for Joshua Sutherland Colville Slayer for Graham Clutterbuck the favorite is Royal Longbow for Jim Murray Riley Evardiles for Thomas Rogers and Rosanna for James Shea complete the lineup and they're off and running. The stalls open, nice even break, although Rosanna just being bustled along as they come out that stalls, perhaps a little bit slowly away as Everlast and Royal Longbow go out in that, into that early lead. But Rosanna, who was slowly away, the jockey got to work on that one because he wants it to be set in the pace, but already taking a pull there in the horse, racing a little bit freely. And looking to its left there, but all of the horses just sticking towards the rail there at the moment, and Rosanna opens up. And the length early lead, and Everlast in second there for the black and red hoops of Joshua Sutherland. Just racing on the inside of, of Royal Longbow. Uh, so we've got quite a long way to go. There's still two, over two miles to travel here at Newcastle. And I don't live too far away from Newcastle Racecourse, actually. Less than a mile, so definitely my local track. It's usually the fighting fifth hurdle in the Northumberland plate that are the bigger races that capture a lot of attention up here, but us Geordies are avid race goers, so I'm sure there's a pretty decent crowd here today, albeit for only a couple of races here on the all weather. So it's Rosanna in the early lead. Still, modest pace being set. So it could turn into a bit of a tactical affair this one. So we can see they're going past the big screen here. A couple of race goers there have made their way out towards the centre of the track, but the majority of them will be behind this camera view, cheering these horses on, ready to cheer on their bet or their favourite horse as they come towards that winning post again in a circuit's time. So it's Rosanna that's turning left-handed here out in the lead, still a couple of length advantage over Royal Longbow. The black silks in the red sleeve there for Jim Murray. It's finished fifth on both of its two starts today. I think... Uh, Jim will be pretty disappointed if it finishes fifth again for a third time here, given the size of this field. So that one's about a length ahead of Everlast, who's racing in third. Joshua Sutherland's got some pretty good pretty good stays in both of his stables for the flat hand jumps this season. So it'll be interesting to see if Everlast can pick up this handicap race for Josh. And uh, Colville Slayer and Riley of Ardeal are still your back markers at the moment. So 11 and a half furlongs to go. All of them travelling pretty strongly and just moving smoothly on on this poly track here up at Newcastle. Rosanna, still that early lead. Uh, don't confuse the uh, green silks of the leader in the back marker. They are uh, different trainers of those horses. I believe it's James Shea that's uh, responsible for Rosanna and Thomas Rogers for Riley of our dealers. And so Rosanna still the long time leader. But over at Kempton, uh, we saw the front runners really struggle to maintain that position once uh, push came to shove towards the end of the race. Can Rosanna uh, beat the trend, so to speak, and show that front runners can indeed win these all weather races? So it's Rosanna now diminishing advantage, actually, with Royal Longbow that's starting to make some steady and smooth progress. But the jockey doesn't want that one to go up and join the leader too soon and just a little pull of the reins there just to. Make sure that Royal Longbow does just sit in off this pace and Everlast. Not not necessarily doing the same, the jockey, but um, certainly making some progress and just making sure that a soft lead isn't going to be given to these uh, ho two horses that are out in front of it. As you can see, the, the jockey getting to work on Rosanna and just having to push that and scrub that one along a bit because Royal Longbow has smoothly moved up alongside it and is now taking a slight advantage. As we come towards five and a half furlongs out, it is Royal Longbow, your new leader. Rosanna Jockey was briefly back on the bridle and every now and again just seems to be getting to work to try and maintain that advantage. Everlast being ridden very patiently and just in behind those leaders. And Kolyev Slayer is now starting to get to work, but the jockey's still pretty motionless until I just said that there on Riley of Ardiles and I think recognises that now is the time to start making some progress. But both those bare two back markers are not uh, hitting the panic button just yet because there's still three and a half furlongs left to go. And Kolyev Slayer is one that's moving out of the pack there. Everlast still being really ridden pretty patiently and confidently there in third place, but will need to now start responding for the pressure. And that response has not been immediate, but back to the front of the field. 
two and a half furlongs to go. It's Royal Longbow in the lead. Now Everlast starting to make some progress. Rosanna's certainly not giving away up on that rail. One and a half furlongs out. Royal Longbow still only has about three quarters of a length advantage over Rosanna. Everlast and Colville Slayer hard to work and the response hasn't been immediate. And it's going to need to happen quickly as we come into the final furlong. Royal Longbow has the lead. Rosanna still battling away on the rail. Not done yet. Colville Slayer now getting going on the outside. And Riley of Ardiles is trying to make progress but it's left it too late. And Royal Longbow is going to hold off all challenges as they come to the line. Wins it for Jim Murray. Rosanna, the long-time leader, really did stay on gamely and was up for that battle. As you can see there, the horses being cheered on as they hit the line. Backers of Royal Longbow will be the ones collecting. Favourite backers, go and collect your winnings. It wins it by a short head for Jim Murray over Rosanna. In second for James Shea. Colville Slayer was third for Pontypool Racing. Everlast couldn't carry the top weight there for Joshua Sutherland. And Riley of Ardiles was last pretty much the whole way and got going all too late for T. Rogers, but still collects 500 quid by finishing fifth year.